number of people. Okay. Yes, that is correct. Number of people where? Number of people mm -hmm. in the country. Yes, very good. That is the exact meaning. Living in the country. And the next word is average. What do you mean by average? Average means... Uh, there, uh, yeah, you can do it. It's almost the same with typical. Yes, and, uh, and it means uh, for example, we mm. have some average life. Yes. Yes, okay. in different countries. Okay, yeah, so it means the quality of living that you have. Yeah, average life is just common or the way of the or, um, very simple way of living. That is the meaning of average there. Okay. So do you think you are an average student? Or you are extraordinary? What is extraordinary? Um, very popular in school. Oh, I'm just an average student. Mm. I see. Yeah, so that is another uh, way of using the word average. So thank you. So next word is urban. Urban. Yes. I'm not sure. It is? Mm -hmm. Country? Yes, that is correct. Okay. So urban is relating to towns or cities in the country. Yeah, so you are from the urban place, right? Yes, mm. I'm from urban. If we have urban for the city, what is the countryside? Uh, what is that? The opposite of urban. Uh, I don't know. We have rural. Oh, rural. rural area. Oh, rural. Yes, urban city, rural is the countryside. Okay, and the last word, household. What do you mean by household? Household. Yes. Like, mm -hmm. up in the floor. Mm -hmm. That's household chores. Oh. Mm -hmm. But oh. that is correct also. So, household mean. Mm -hmm. Mean. Uh, something you need to do to. To. To make a family. Ah, I see. Um. Your example is actually household chores. Yeah, oh. That is correct. Uh, mopping the floor, um, washing the dishes, those are household chores. That is one word, but it's only household. Household, just household has another meaning. Oh. But your definition is correct, but for household chores. Household. So, household meaning? Mm. Things related to family. Yes, that is correct. It has something to do with family. Um, actually, when we say household, it means, please read. Means a group of people, often a family who live together. Yeah, so that is a household. No. So the family who lives together. So how many members does your household have? I have four people in my mm. as my household. Mm, okay, yeah, that is correct. So since we're talking about family, there are two kinds of family. We have the nuclear family and the extended family. So which family do you belong? 
Which household do you belong? The nuclear family or extended family? Uh, what does that mean? Uh, when we say nuclear family, it is composed of father, mother, and children. But for extended family, in the house, in the household, you have your grandfather, grandmother, cousins, uncle. So it's a bigger family. That's why extended, extend. It's bigger. Okay, so which household do you belong? I mean, nuclear family. Yes. The sound is a little bit um, strange because it's like a nuclear bomb. <laughs> but yes. nuclear, <laughs> right? But nuclear family is just for the mother, father, and kids. Yes. So, the words are difficult? Uh, okay, it's okay. It's okay. Do you have a question? Nope. None so far. Okay, so let's proceed. So let me share my screen. Can you see? Yes. Okay. Um, one moment. So let's start with picture story. Picture story. Yeah, so look at the picture. Wait, let me just remove this one. So can you make a story about what happened to this guy from A? to letter K. Okay, so take your time. What do you think is happening to him at the moment? Mm. Now you can make your own name. You can make your own place. It depends on you. It's your story. Okay. Done. Okay. So start. There is a man mm -hmm. who called Nick. Mm -hmm. And he wears a heavy coat, mm -hmm. a nice nice shoes mm -hmm. and looks okay. you know, looks uh Wealthy. Okay. But, and mm. just walk on the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. And in a sudden, in a sudden, there are two gangsters. Mm -hmm. uh, gangster go and go on his way. Mm -hmm. And they Robber, his, his, mm -hmm. uh, 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 man, money case. <laughs> okay. What is that? Uh, <laughs> wallet. Wallet, yes. Mm -hmm. Wallet. They, uh, robber has wallet and find if there anything anything worth in his coat okay and just uh 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 just be uh just that uh, be mm -hmm. just Hit him. Okay. And then they go away. Mm -hmm. Him alone on the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. And maybe oh. Mm -hmm. And because Nick is hurt by on uh. uh because the two gangsters mm -hmm. hit him on the head, on his head. Okay. So he just feel dizzy on the road. Mm -hmm. And then 
there is a passenger mm -hmm. con uh, there is a passenger go by him mm -hmm. okay passed by him uh -huh. and he called for help mm -hmm. but the man doesn't uh, doesn't want to help him and just walk away, just run away. Mm -hmm. Then there is another guy who wears western suit okay. and saw Nick is lying on the road and called for help. But he also don't want to get in this matter. Mm -hmm, okay. So he walked away too. And then mm -hmm. finally there is a man wears hat. Mm -hmm. Wears hat. Kim and see Nick. Okay. And he made a phone call to Call the call to the hospital, mm -hmm. and he take him to the hospital, and a nurse take care of him. After all, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so was it difficult? Um, because uh, mm -hmm. there is some some. Words I want to say in my brain, but I can't find the exactly word in English. Mm, you cannot find the exact words. Yes. Mm, that is okay. Um, it it really does happen. So, uh, good job in doing the storytelling because that's exactly what happened to a story. Um, if you this is a story from the Bible, so. It's called the Good Samaritan. So if you see someone, of course, that is a good thing to do to help other people. And then you mentioned a while ago the word lying. Yeah, so good choice because um, I asked you to um, tell the story what's happening right now. So since we said now, so the verbs that we're supposed to use are... What's oh. Present continuous. I say lying. Yeah, you said lying. Wow, how lucky I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think on this one you said uh, he saw him lying on the side of the road. Yeah, you mentioned that one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. So. Yeah. So going on. Yeah. So I mentioned about the present continuous tense. So. We use it if we are going to look at the, if this is the time, time frame, so we have the past, the future. So the present continuous is happening right now. I am doing. So the best example is what are we doing now? We are studying. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So please read the use of the present continuous. Uh, the present continuous is used to talk about actions happening at the time of speaking. Mm -hmm. yeah, so the example. Where is Mary? He is having a bath. Yeah, so she's having a bath. Oh, she is having a bath. Yeah, not she has a bath. Because oh. we are talking at the time of the, right yeah. now. So the second one, the second use. The present continuous can also be used when an action has started but hasn't finished yet. Yes. So example. Oh, I'm reading a book. It's a nice book. So in this example, it means that you're not actually reading it at this time. But you started it maybe in the past, 
but you're not yet finished. Okay. Okay, so we can also consider using the present continuous. So do you like reading? I like reading, mm -hmm. but I'm not often read. I don't often read. I don't often read. Mm. Or you can say, I... I don't read often. Like I don't read often. Hmm. Yes, because uh, you're busy. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just hmm. wasting my time with computer. Hmm. Not reading, yes. Mm, and every summer vacation, mm. I want to spend some time on reading some novels, some some books, but mm -hmm. I don't really do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So maybe you just start it, but you don't actually finish reading the book. Yes, yes, yes. Just like the example. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, sometimes because our our attention is actually not focused into the activity. Well, I can understand that because um these days we are into technology so that's why we use our phones or the computer more often than the books. Um except if there's a test, you have to read the book. Yes. I guess. So, going back so that's the use of the present continuous. So we have an exemption to the rule. So there is a special rule. So we have what we call special verbs. So these verbs, which are normally not used in the present continuous form. So norm normally, we will just write the verb and then plus the ing, right? So tell that the action is happening now. But if you see these words, example, you don't add the ing. Okay, so please read the examples. Be, believe, mm -hmm. on, hate, hear, mm -hmm. like, love, mean, prefer, remember, realize, see, see, smell, think, understand, want, wish. Okay, thank you. So an example, it is not correct to say he is wanting to buy a new car. Mm -hmm. Because the correct way to say it is he wants to buy a new car. Oh, I know, I know. Hmm. Yeah, you know this rule, right? Yeah, so you cannot say he's wishing to, um, to get a new house. So... Now you have to, to use another verb for that. Uh -huh. Okay, because we cannot use it in this form for the present continuous. Okay, so question? No. Not no. so far. Okay, since we're talking about the word typical a while ago, I have here an article. What's typical? Yes. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, so can you please read the article? So what's typical? Uh, in Germany, the, aver the average age to get married is 30, what? For men mm -hmm. and 28 for women. 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 Mm -hmm. Women. Mm -hmm. In the uh, United Arab, Arab, Arab Emirates. Mm -hmm. Eighty-five percent of the population live in urban areas. Mm -hmm. In South Korea, fifty-nine percent of couples have children. Mm -hmm. In Japan, 65% of, uh, of the elderly population live with their, with their children. Mm -hmm. In Australia, 
thirteen percent of households have more than five people. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh huh. In Portugal, seventy seventy percent of mothers work outside the home. Mm -hmm. In Mexico, ninety-three percent of households have a TV set. Mm -hmm. In Canada, forty-five of husbands and wives share the housework. Mm -hmm. In Ireland, eighty-three percent of the adult population own their own home. Okay. So question, these are actually um, world facts or family facts around the world. So which facts surprise you? What is the information that surprises you? I think it is in Germany. Mm, what about it? Because they get married in later in mm -hmm. their time. Mm, at the latter part of their lives. Yes. Yeah, that is correct. 31 years old. Because you said um, commonly in Taiwan, that's... Taiwan is 26. And I think it is 26. Mm. I think not far to 31 mm, yeah. but but because i think over 30 mm. is uh is really late to get married mm, i see oh sorry no. yeah that is correct i agree with you it is very late but it's common in other countries um because i think it's difficult to get a job in Germany to get a house because they need to be stable first. They need to have a house, a car, a job. Everything should be okay before they get married. And being a man is difficult, I think, because you have to, to save a lot of money for your marriage, for the house, I, I think. So that's why it takes them longer than the usual. Yes. Mm. And also in Canada, mm -hmm. there is thirty-five percent of mm -hmm. uh, husband and wife shares the household housework. Because I think I thought mm. it will be higher. The percentage uh -huh. will be higher. Mm. How many percent? Maybe mm. sixty or seventy. Mm. Yes, because I think now in Taiwan or uh, yes in Taiwan, mm. most of the husband, most of the couple share the housework together. Mm. I think, but I'm I don't know. <laughs> at, at least at least mm. my father and my mother shares the housework. Mm. <laughs> That's a good thing, yeah, because yes. um, both, since both of them are working, yeah, they should share the housework. Because if it is only for your mother, that will be very tiring. Yes, and I think if someone told talk, talk to her, mm. talk to his girlfriend or told to her boyfriend that mm. he or she don't want to do the housework mm. in the future, the other one will get met. Ah, uh, yeah, I think so too. Yes. <laughs> yeah, sharing the housework is very important. Yes, so 45% has a low percentage. Mm. Well, with this one, I'm also not sure, but um, I guess in Canada, they still practice the, the housewife stays at home. So that's why only 45% because most of the time their, their wives still do the jobs. Oh, I see. Maybe yeah. the wives doesn't work outside. 
Yeah, some of them. Because um, these days, it's a common trend to do the online jobs. And some of them, they only work for hours. Yeah, so that's why I think that's why the, the, the percentage is a little bit lower than what we expect. Um, so aside from Germany and Canada, are there on any other facts that surprised you? Mm, I say in Ireland, mm -hmm. eighty-three percent of percent of the adult population own their own home. Mm -hmm. Because I think in most where is Ireland? Oh, oh Ireland. Ireland. It's almost near London. Oh, because I think in most of the advanced country mm -hmm. to own to own each own home is very difficult. Mm. Yes, because I think in just like in in, in Taiwan, in mm. Hong Kong, in mm. Japan, mm -hmm. I think it is. To the home is too expensive to mm -hmm. younger to 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 young men to own their own home. Yes, mm. I agree with your statement. Um, I think that's um also one reason why adult population have their own home because they study hard and they work hard. That's why they get married late. And they really invest for their own house because in um, Europe, it's not a common thing to rent an apartment. So they really have to have their own home. Oh, really? So in Europe, people usually don't rent a house, just buy it. There are some who rent a place, but that for a long time. Compared to Asian countries, um, just like what you mentioned, first world country, yeah. um, they have to have their own home. Yeah, and um, the surprising fact about this is um, adult population. So I'm thinking they are already in the home for the aged. That's what I'm thinking for the old people. So they have their own house. So maybe it can be from a house loan or a gift from their children or possible that it is inherent. There are a lot of possibilities in this one. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking. But um, just like what you said, yeah, that's, that's also true. Yes. But I think the style of um, the housing in Ireland is different from Hong Kong, Japan, or Taiwan. So, yeah, possible. So, among these um, facts, which is a positive um, information and which is the negative information? What's in positive and what's in negative? Positive, uh, I think. In Mexico, no, in Mexico, the information is positive. Mm -hmm. And in Ireland, it is positive. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I don't know if the information about United Arab Emirates is positive. I'm not sure. Mm, most of them lives in the city. Um, is there a disadvantage for that? Uh, if most of the people lives in the city, is that a good thing or not so good? I don't know. I don't know if that is possible. How about in Taiwan? Uh, what? How many percentage does the people who are living in the city? How many percentage of people lives in the city? I think it is maybe 
fifty. Oh no! Oh, maybe higher, maybe fifty or sixty, but fifty percent person. Because there are still many city, there is not that developed. So I think the person, the percentage will not is lower than. The percentage in United Arab Emirates.、Mm. Yes, I see. I think the reason why the pop、um, the percentage is high in the United Arab Emirates is because most of their lands is it is an emirate, so it's like a kingdom. So it's not only one city. There are other areas like Dubai. I think you know Dubai. Saudi Arabia that is under United Arab Emirates, so it's a big place. So eighty-five percent of the population is in the city because、uh, they're already industrialized, and I think they offer a lot of good jobs, not only for their people but also for foreigners. There are a lot of Filipinos in United Arab Emirates, and I think also Asian people. Um, Samsung, Korean companies, they also invest in United Arab Emirates. So I think because of the fuel, because they have oil industry, so that's why I think、um, they have higher population in the city because that's where the job is.、Yes. So I think this information is true, and if that is the case, I think. This is a good thing. This is positive because they offer more jobs. How can I call、uh, if the information is not positive and also not negative? Is on the is in the middle. Ah. What's if there's any words means like this in the middle? In the middle. Um, positive, negative, normal, or neutral? No, no. What? What?、Uh, can you type?、Oh, sure. Neutral. I think neutral is the term. Neutral. Neutral, neutral is in between. Neutral. Oh. Okay.、Mm. Okay, that's my question and、mm -hmm. solve. So what's next?、Oh. Yeah. So no negative, no negative、um, information. Oh, negative information. I think.、Uh, um, None so far. All positive things. All all of the information here is positive. Steve, in Japan, sixty-five of the elderly population live with their children.、Mm -hmm. So I think it is negative because I think the percentage is a little high,、mm -hmm. and I think it means、mm. uh, most of the、uh, most of The most of children、mm -hmm. don't have ability to offer their parents a house,、ah. so they need to live together.、Mm -hmm. Yes.、Mm, good point. That is a good point. Um. So inside one. Um. The elderly don't live together with their children. In 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 what in inside? In Taiwan. Oh, in Taiwan. Elders don't stay with their children. Yes, I think. I think. Uh. No, they don't. Why not? Maybe maybe in in Taipei in the north. Parts of Taiwan,、mm. we we don't live with our parents,、mm. but not in the south parts of Taiwan because、mm. the price of house、mm. in the 
in south of Taiwan is mm -hmm. lower than the north part. Okay. So people usually can buy a whole building mm -hmm. and they live with their parents but not live in the same floor. Mm. Yes, so they live together. I see. So I think. Mm -hmm. So I think in Taipei we don't live with our parents. Mm. Well, that is also a good thing, I guess, because um, the your parents will teach you to be depend independent, rather. independent. To live by your own, you don't need to rely with your parents. Yes. Because in the Philippines, this is common to live with parents even if we already have a family. That's why most of the household have ex our extended family in the Philippines. But these days, it's changing. It's becoming nuclear. So I think it's because of the influence of Americans. Yeah, so... Because in America, they teach their children that at the age of 18, they should have their own apartment. Something like that. So I think it's the same thing in Taiwan. So once you have your own family, you should um, live with your family and not with your parents. Yeah, that is a good style. Yeah, I think that's also, uh, that's how it should be. Yeah, so do you have any question about this story? About the article? Um, where is Portugal? Here, beside Australia. Beside oh, Australia. Oh, besides Australia? Oh. oh, I thought the article, where is Portugal, the country? It's in Europe. Uh -huh. uh, what was your question? The country, location, or the article? Uh, the, where is the country? Ah, uh, here, oh. somewhere here, in Europe. Oh, oh okay. Mm -hmm. No question? No? Mm, okay. Okay, so since you don't have a question, let's proceed. Yeah, so we talk about the um, present continuous form of the verb, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's have more exercises for practice. Okay. So one moment. Yeah, so you'll just have to select either the verb is in the simple present or in the present continuous form. Okay, so the first one. Yeah, so look, Sarah, go blind to the movies. Look, Sarah is going to the movies it's going to a movie oh. it sounds strange because mm -hmm. it's going to means happen in future but also it means it means present continuous mm. but i think uh, I think the, the, the thing is happen now. Look, okay. oh, is uh, Sarah is going to the movie. Yeah, that is the correct answer. Oh. <laughs> but it's going to also mean well, right? Yeah, will. It's going to. But, um, yeah, but in here, the line is just for going, for just go. But yeah, that is for the future. Oh. It can be two things. Uh, so next one. Mm 
on her right hand, Sarah is carrying her handbag. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's carrying, yes. Yeah, so it's carrying her handbag. So the next one. The handbag is very beautiful. It is. It is. It is, yes. Um, Sarah usually put on black shoes, but no. no. Usually, Sarah usually puts on black shoes, but now she is wearing white trainers. 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 Yeah. What is trainers? Uh, trainers are like, um, are you familiar with rubber shoes? Rubber shoes? Oh, rubber shoes. You Tra like basketball? Mm -hmm. Yes, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think that's the common thing that they, that they use. Trainers. Oh. Trainers. Yeah, like the Nike. Nike shoes, rubber shoes. We call it in the Philippines rubber shoes. Okay. Oh. Trainer. Like this one. Wait, let me share my screen. Actually, trainers have good designs. Like this one. Can you see? Trainer shoes. Um, in the Philippines, we call them rubber shoes because they are made of plastic. Oh. It's different from the, it's different to sneakers. Mm. Or is the same, the same thing? Yeah, just this is, uh, I think because they use the, the American English and the British English. I think that's the only difference. Oh, I see. Just like pants in British, they call them trousers, like that. But it's the same as pants or jeans. Oh. Pair of jeans. Just the English or American name. Ah, British, yeah. So the last one. And look, she is taking an umbrella. Yes, that is correct. She's taking an umbrella. She's taking an umbrella. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's like what happened in the whole story. But anyways, Daniel, it's um it's already time. So thank you so much. Thank so, you very much. I'll say goodbye for now. So um enjoy your weekend. Yes, bye bye. Bye bye.